I think that people had the same experience that I did, which is that they found community. They found family in community. And for a lot of the folks that participated, they were first generation immigrants or newly arrived immigrants or new people to Worcester or people just getting started in Worcester. And so it was an opportunity to find an identity and to feel that sense of belonging that, that I craved and I know a lot of other people did. Sets began in 2003. We just did some door knocking and, and invited, it wasn't just kids, it was really just inviting families or anyone that was interested in coming to play pickup soccer on Saturday morning. You don't need to speak one language to play soccer. Like I would literally play with people, we would, like nobody would be speaking the same language. And you know, you just, it's soccer, soccer language. <laughs> you get to meet people from different parts of the world. You enjoy a common thing, you have something to talk about when you meet them, you have like a story to tell, and it's just bonding. With the strong uh, response from neighbors to turn out, to play, to laugh, to have it be more about family even than soccer, um, that just, um, it answered the question of, is, you know, is this a good idea? And, and the answer was yes. I think it's really awesome that um, such a diverse group of youth are getting together and just doing something that doesn't really have to, um, that's not focused on the fact that they're a diverse group of youth, but they're just coming together and playing soccer. And we felt like as long as people were showing up week after week, month after month, then let's just keep doing it until something changes. Well, sets is more than just a place to come kick a ball around, you know. You create bonds that last a lifetime, you learn leadership skills, you know, you you do things you never thought were possible, y'all. You know. It's all a great gateway to college and, you know, figure things out um, within life. You know, you come out of a shell and just, you know, to give back to the community is a beautiful thing and that's what I want to keep doing. In 2006, in the spring, the Men's FIFA World Cup was, a lot of uh, hype was uh, happening around that and we got an idea to start it here in Worcester, knowing that there were so many different immigrant groups that there would be an opportunity to create that kind of tournament. And so in um, less than three months planning, we were able to pull off the first Worcester World Cup. We were able to field men's and women's teams, which was really exciting and something that was important to us from the beginning and still is. It has grown so much in the uh, 11 years now that we have run it. Not only was it a community event and an opportunity for uh, immigrant groups that are in the city to shine a positive light on who they are and, and uh, what they can do. Um, it also was an opportunity for young people to learn and practice the leadership skills that they had been developing through the Saturday morning program. And I would say that um, without those youth leaders, I don't think that the Worcester World Cup would be as strong as it is or even potentially continuing as it does. The, the Worcester World Cup tournament was was the first time that I was really like, wow, like these kids could run the whole show. And I think that because of the, a lot of the confidence and tools and skills that SETS has given them over the years that each year they come to the Worcester World Cup or whichever other SETS program or event, just that much more ready. I love soccer and I love Worcester's vibrant community and I love when they come together. Worcester World Cup because it celebrates Worcester's diversity, our immigrant community, all of the different um, people. I love Worcester World Cup because it's fun. I love the Worcester World Cup because it's soccer. I love Worcester World Cup! Worcester World Cup in 2009. Uh, three years after it had been at Elm Park School um, in its fourth annual tournament, it went to Foley Stadium. Uh, partly it was because we were growing and that made sense to move to a bigger venue, but more so it was because we had just renovated Elm Park Community School Field and it was unusable um, to, to play on. And that effort of renovating the fields came out of our relationships with um, 
so many of the immigrant communities in the city and with understanding the value of Umpire Community School Field to all those groups. When the group of youth in the Saturday morning program started getting older, we realized that uh, essentially we had a group of teenagers and it didn't seem appropriate to have very young kids join again. We shifted and um, identified a, a coach and a mentor to work with that older group. That formed eventually the uh, youth squad, um, which is still very active and, and a core part of our organization. It brings all the kids together, you know, and keeps them from just sitting indoor, not doing anything, from just sitting there playing video games, you know. It lets the kid come outside every now and then, have some fun. It meant, you know, meeting new people, playing with the people from the community, getting to, you know, not just play just soccer, but actually learning how to become, you know, a leader in the community. Sets is just everybody from different countries playing as a whole. It's, it's a constant place for the kids to, to know that they have somewhere to go to practice and play. And in that sense, it reinforces uh, an idea in them that that it's not something that um, that is quick or that goes away. It's something that's uh, lasting. They can build a community within themselves and, and have a group of friends that they can uh, that they know that is always here uh, and always have a place to be on 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 a particular day every week. Uh, and I think that's been very positive for them. I think those are the same reasons why they show up to practice, but for the same reasons I show up to practice is because they're going to be there and I enjoy being there with them and watching them have fun and, and grow as from teenagers into adults. We started working with another community organization called African Community Education, or most people know them as ACE. And um, we learned that they had a group that was similar to ours, a community-based group. Soccer was an important part of their organization, and we agreed to start scrimmaging with them. And out of that, Sets had proposed that we start a youth tournament um, as a way to allow young people to have that level of competition and have that main stage the way that um, adults do in the Worcester World Cup. And so in 2011, we started the EPIC tournament. We have had a variety of different community groups be part of it. We have been at Umpire Park Community School in the gym every spring having a one-day um, tournament that is just as intense and, and exciting and as noisy um, and a nail-biter to the end as the Worcester World Cup, and, um, but it allows young people to um, be on the stage. Happy birthday, Sets. Happy birthday, Sets. Happy birthday, Sets. Happy birthday, Sets. Love you. Happy birthday, Sets.